we're live yo what is going on everybody welcome to another week of peak flow it's your boy marcus my name is marcus slam i'm from new york city e-commerce entrepreneur and over here is my business partner trevor zang trevor introduce yourself real quick hey guys my name is trevor co-founder of peak flow media and uh we're gonna share some excellent excellent uh niche selection in today's live stream we're gonna show you guys some game and if you guys are interested in learning how to make money online, you know, there are tons of different business models out there. And you might be wondering, you know, should you do drop shipping? Should you do affiliate marketing? Should you do SMMA? There's a ton out there, but me and Trevor really specialize in drop shipping. I don't, I don't speak for what I don't know. And I really honestly only know drop shipping. I've tapped into other business models as well, but you know, high ticket drop shipping saved my life because I started off doing the traditional model. I found props from China, scaled it to the moon, ended up going into debt because I had terrible fulfillment systems. That's how I found high ticket drop shipping. So like to save you all of that trouble, to save you all of that money, time, resources, all you have to do is just be aware of the high ticket drop ship model, be aware that it exists. And in today's live stream, we're going to go ahead and show you guys a very new strategy that we developed. So Trevor, you Please, want sir. you want to introduce the strategy to them? Yep, let's do it. All right. All right. Let's make sure you guys see everything. Um, so we have the infamous random word generator that um I know a few of them, few people know we I love this tool. It's um the magic tool that finds unlimited niches. So basically what we're going to do is just generate a couple of words and then we're going to use these words to essentially find untapped product types that other people aren't selling. Instead of selling saunas, fireplaces, instead of selling, you know, furniture, we're going to find something unique um, that not everyone else is selling. So let's do it. Um, so we're going to take one of these words. What word would you like, Marcus? Wait, before we go into word, I think it's important on like why we're even doing this in the first place to tell the audience that. So why we're actually using random word generator is because everybody's always looking into what is the best niche? Like I get like me and Trevor always get the questions like, yo, like what's the untapped niche? What's the most profitable niche? And the gener generic high ticket dropshipping niches that everybody knows about is like saunas, fireplaces and grills. But if you're somebody that's looking to get started into high ticket dropshipping, there's actually so many business uh, businesses out there that you could go into the niche of. And so that's why we're using random name generator, random word generator, because we want to show you how easy or simple it is. And we call this method the rabbit hole strategy, which pretty much is like once you start using this, you're going to see the rabbit hole of the limitless possibilities, the unlimited mm -hmm. potential for high ticket dropshipping. So if you guys are wondering like why we're uh, why um, we could sell, like why would we be trying to share you guys our secrets? if we already have successful businesses ourselves, the truth is because there's just so much market out there that honestly, it's more than me and Trevor can handle, right? We have our own specific niches and we thrive in our niches, but there's just so many out there. And right now, Trevor's going to go and just put in a random word and we're going to find some niches just like that. So Trevor, you're waiting for a random word from me. So let's do the word forget. All right. So I'll obviously try. I hope that's too hard. <laughs> yeah, obviously every word um is gonna give you different results. So we'll just see when there's no scripting, we'll just generate a word live for you guys. So you know we're just doing it live and seeing what can we find. So first of all, we put in forget inside uh Google Shopping, and then we're seeing these shower cleaners. Um, these are pretty low ticket. So usually we like to filter the price points over on the left hand side to above a thousand dollars. And then we got some interesting results we have, which is uh, jewelry. So jewelry, lamps, some sort yeah. of um, high heel, I think. <laughs> um, okay, this is a security appliance. So interesting. Let's go ahead and click that. We'll just open this up. We'll just click on some listings and see, like, what what can we find? Like, uh, network devices. Go for click it, on brother. a few stores. Uh, jewelry. Okay, so we have a few stores. So let's take a look. So we have this site, 
called networkdevicesinc.com. And it looks like a store selling networks uh, or network tools or appliances. So Firewall have, products. Interesting. Yeah. Switches, routers, firewalls, wireless. Um, very interesting. So we're networking. Okay. You can see that they have a pop up. So this is a, when you see a pop up saying like, get a discount off or subscribe to a newsletter. It usually means this is a well-established e-commerce business because um, they put in some effort to actually nurture their audience and build a newsletter. So we'll come back to this site, but let's see what other sites we have. So this is a, just a jewelry site, I think. Yeah. Usually don't like to do jewelry because the margins, uh, I heard the margins with jewelry for retail locations is like 5%. So with online, I don't expect it to be much better than that. So we'll just skip out on jewelry for now. And then we have hard disk direct. So this is computer goods. So storage devices, servers, networking devices, printers, um, protection. So this is like, uh, like surgical. Battery power mm -hmm. bank power banks Mother microchips so okay. so Trevor, is this a is this a good niche you would say hard disk direct what do you think about the it niche for high ticket drop shipping so something i like to think about as well as the customer avatar so these people that are buying these are usually tech enthusiasts um, or it people so they're going to be more of a um, more technical. So if you don't know anything about computers or tech stuff to begin with starting this business, then it's going to be another layer of something that you have to learn on top of it. doesn't mean you can't do it over time. Um, I think you just need to be a little bit passionate with this niche. If you like technology, like I, personally, I like technology and just learning ins and outs of like equipment and stuff, then this is an easy peasy niche for me. I'll, I'll love doing it, but if it's, someone brand new to business that doesn't even know anything about technology and how to use a computer. This is another layer that they have to learn on top of, you know, running the business. So personally for this electronic niche, I would stay away from because electronics get broken a lot. Yes, there are like, let's say, um, you know, home equipment that, you know, go into kitchens, for example, that also are electronics, but those are less likely to be broken compared to these, you know, microchips, uh, processors, um, some other interesting things. So I'll prob probably stay away from this, but what we can get from this information right away is we see some unique products like this firewall. Let's just type in firewall into Google. Yeah. And then um, another way we can use this rabbit hole method is we put in a word and then we can use what is called Google autocomplete. Autocomplete are keywords that are um, what Google, what people are searching up already on Google. So it autocompletes firewall ultra, meaning people are already searching for these words. And what we can do is we can just put a word after it and get a bunch of new recommendations. So we have firewall appliance. So let's click on that. Um, so I think it's just more firewall stuff. So I usually whoa, don't like whoa, whoa. So that $134,000. What is that? It's a firewall plants. This is like networking stuff. Home networks and small businesses. Home network. Okay. Uh, so obviously we don't really know this that well, but this is yeah. a one one angle you could build your store around, which is the networking niche. Instead of building a store around just you know computer equipment or electronics, which is a super broad uh, niche, you could just do something around networking. So firewalls, wireless points, network switches. So this is one angle we could do, um, but still this is computers and technology or electronics, which is what I'm trying to get to, which, you know, businesses buy in bulk, but just be prepared to actually know the industry before yeah. you actually, you know, at least be kind of like technology so you can get into this niche. So 
our niche angle, which is far walls. More on the broader scope is networking. So we have firewalls. Wireless access points. Um, network switches. Then like server protection. This is wow. like, I think, awesome. server. Not yeah, sure obviously, you need to have um, some more electronic background knowledge. You have to probably know this field or industry a little bit more. So let's let's go back into our, like, our scrapbook. Let's say it's somebody that doesn't know jack shit about electronics and stuff, right? Like, what would mm -hmm. we do from here? What would you do from here? So we can take any like words based on what websites we're currently on, and then we can just replug those into Google. So we plugged in firewall appliance, and then we basically are just seeing like networking stuff, which is completely fine. Um, but we can take other words that we see like on other websites, or back we can just or we can just back up to original step, which is go back to the random word generator and use another word. So let's try like gradient. This niche I would probably do because like I understand all this networking stuff and like electronics. Um, like a domain we could do a little bit later, but let's see if we can find another niche angle. So we search up gradient and um, let's filter over 500. Okay, this is Home Depot, obviously, but this is a corner shower surround. Interesting. Corner shower surround. So this is one product type that probably haven't heard of. So we can just plug that word into Google. Let's do corner shower surround. Hopefully you guys start seeing like this is how it's a rabbit hole. Like you start looking into one topic, then you see another and you see another and it becomes just this never ending rabbit hole of potential niches. This is so interesting. Yeah, so we have like these uh, shower enclosures. This is only like $400, but there's probably others there are a lot more. Okay, these are all about 400. Let's try filter stuff above a thousand dollars. So we have mm. acrylic Jack sound walls. So acrylic sound walls is another one. See bathtub enclosures. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. This is like bifold tub doors. So these are some of them are pretty expensive as well. Um, so right now what we have is sound walls and tub doors. So this has to do with like the tub in a shower area. So we can see uh, tub doors, uh, bathtubs, uh, let's see. So soaking bathtubs. Got some faucets. So what I'm trying to look for here is just like 
product types are like similar to each other. So these are sound walls, tub doors, and bathtubs. These ha mm -hmm. all have to do with the bathroom and like the showering area. So if we go back to tub enclosures, we're just going to look on the left hand side and see if there's any other like products that fit in with the shower area. Let me know if you see any. Trevor, uh, could you go into any one of these and find the supplier information? Let's just say somebody's like, oh, wow, okay. I like the shower niche, but like, what do I go from there? Like, what, what, what is it that they would do? Yeah. So let's say you wanted to sell these um, tub doors, extension or extender panels. Uh, let me just write that down actually. You would just basically look on the website and most sites will tell you the brand name like right off the bat, just like the first word of the title. So for this brand or for this product, the brand is Dreamline. So if we look up Dreamline on Google, um, it's usually gonna be the top result. If not, it might be on the first page somewhere. So we click on Dreamline, and this is the supplier's website. So to actually become a dealer for Dreamline, which is they sell shower doors, and look, the supplier actually gives us more you know, product ideas, shower bases, tub doors, and shower doors. So you get in with one supplier, it opens up another product types or another couple product types, and then you take those product types, five more suppliers of them, <laughs> And boom, this, the cycle just rinse and repeats. So with Dreamline, uh huh, with Dreamline, we can all see some people know the become oh, a become dealer, a become a dealer link, and boom, to become a dealer, just fill this out. And um, well, this one has quite a few questions, which is good because um, it stops people from just spamming the form. So to become a dealer with them, you just fill out the form. Answer it to the best of your ability. And if you're accepted, good for you. If not, that's completely fine because you can keep following up in three to six months increments until you close the supplier. Because every supplier can be closed. Um, if they say no, just means no right now. Doesn't mean no forever. Always keep that in the back of your mind. So Trevor. Yeah, go ahead. What is the longest time frame you've went to try to close a supplier? What's your timeline? How long did it take you to close? I closed one of my uh, top suppliers in my industry. It took two years and I didn't follow up in three to six two months. Years? Actually, increments. Yeah, two years. I didn't follow up in every single three to six month increments. I did like every six months or so. And then how I got in with them is just this sales rep really liked my story and like how I brought value to my other brands. And basically you just sell them. You just sell to them saying like, Hey, we're, we're doing business with all these other competitors. If you don't bring us on as a dealer, you're losing out all these sales and they, they just get cold feet and they want to bring you on just like that. Yeah. Uh... Um, so Dreamline is one supplier. And then we have all these other product types that they sell themselves like shower doors. So we already have five product types inside our second niche idea which is has to do with um showering like we can also sell like the the shower heads these could go for five hundred thousand dollars as well the shower curtains the shower base um the shower surround obviously um and then we can just start with a shower just start and narrow down get the best suppliers and that's how you essentially be different than everyone else selling saunas for example everyone's selling saunas well, you could just start sh selling um, anything that does has to do with showers. So we start with showers. So this is shower niche. One second, one second, Trevor. I'm sorry to cut you off. I just mm -hmm. want to point something out for the audience. When you guys are looking into your niche, when you guys are looking into figuring out like where to go with it, I know a lot of people get held back because they hear that a niche is saturated. And even though right now me and Trevor are kind of shitting on the sauna niche. It's not to say that you can't make money selling saunas. It's 100%. just that you're sharing, you're sharing all of the same suppliers with everybody. And so the, mm -hmm. the chances of you acquiring customers is a, is a lot harder because everyone has that supplier. So if you're going into the sauna niche and you want to dominate it, then you would need to find 
some of the top sauna suppliers that other dealers might not be able to get access to. So sometimes like having a long form like Dreamline that stops people away. Maybe if you have a really good relationship with the supplier because you just really good with talking to people, that's going to help. It's not that sauna is saturated, saturated. It's just that even in markets of saturation, you just have to find kind of like your competitive edge. And Trevor is basically saying like, when you're a beginner, it's hard to acquire such supplier acquisition skills. It's hard to have that lingo. It's hard to, to do that stuff. That's why it's easier to do something that not like other people aren't doing. So it's not that song doesn't work. It's just that you'll have a higher chance of maybe doing the bathroom shower and closure niche because that's so hyper targeted, so niche. You don't think of that. Like not, you don't just think of it out of nowhere. And so that's why with less competition means more market that's open to share with you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good point. Good explanation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Yeah. Um, so we have all our shower products and we can start just with the shower category in on our website. So we can have a bathroom themed uh, domain name. That's completely fine. But we don't want to just start selling, you know, vanities, showers, tubs, um, anything any product types that has to do with bathroom, we just want to start narrow down with one specific section of the bathroom, mm -hmm. then expand as we get the best suppliers. When you skim from the top and just do everything bathroom, you're just going to get supplies that everyone already has. And yes, you can make sales like Marcus said, but you're not going to get a home run supplier that's going to you know take yeah. your business from zero to 100,000 super quick. So yeah. In terms of these two um, niches, these are perfect niches in terms of product types to start with. Let's go ahead and pick out a domain. And um, we like to use Namecheap uh, just because it's probably inexpensive and pretty easy to set up. So let's brainstorm two domain names for our two niches. So we have our networking niche, which is um, let's see what other sites are firewalls.com. It's a really good domain network devices. So let's do like my networking supplies or spelled it wrong. I bet she's probably going to come out to like $1. I mean, $10 a year. Yeah. There we go. My networking supplies. If you sell networking supplies, boom, there's your domain name. Go ahead and cl claim it before someone else does. My networking supplies for just $13 a year. And boom, you can start with networking. And networking is such a big industry. Like this store, it's just all networking. Holy shit. I might so, have to check out this networking niche. Damn. <laughs> um, so honestly, we don't really need another domain because we already found one that's available and really great, honestly. Then let's do one for the shower. Yeah, the shower niche. So we can do like a shower domain, which just has to do with showers. We're going to be more narrow. And we're going to be more limited by product types, which is completely fine if you just want to dominate in that um, specific sub niche. But if you want to, you know, expand in the future, then having a little bit broader of a domain, like something with bathroom in the name, will allow you to expand. So maybe like, I don't know, um, bathroom. My bathroom direct.com. Oh, not bad, not bad. That's not bad too. That's really good, actually. MajestyBathroom.com. <laughs> best domains, I swear. <laughs> we always get the best domains right off the bat. Yeah. MajestyBathroom.com. Boom, you have all. Bro, that's um, so good. Start with these, and then um, you can keep expanding to you know vanities, tubs, faucets, yeah. sinks, toilets. Oh, we didn't even cover toilets, like but that's toilet. Yeah, like as long as you have majestybathroom.com, you can start with these, which are more, you know, less people are selling these, which equals a greater chance of you being able to sell more. Um, but with having majestybathroom.com, you can expand to all these product types. Boom, 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 all, all across the bat. And this industry is huge. We don't even need to pull up Google Trends because we just know, like, um, <laughs> people are always going to be buying you know, bathroom supplies, you know, stuff gets worked yeah. out. They need to replace it. New homes are always being built. So just because you guys like to use 
you know, like to look at the data and analytics, we'll just type in like shower enclosure and closure inside of Google Trends and see, let's see, last five years. You can see that this is um, definitely a healthy niche. It's growing over time, 2018 compared to 2023. It's up in the last five years. Um, this saw a big peak. Wonder why in 2022. Maybe new homes are being built during that time. Is that when COVID oh. happened? No. Um, COVID happened like 2020, 2021. This is like 2022. I don't know. Yeah, not sure, but we can already see like shower, bathroom stuff, completely fine. Not a seasonal niche. Um, yeah, basically use, use your common sense. <laughs> um, but with that being said, we have two domains, my networking supplies with our networking supplies and then majesty bathroom, which is an excellent, excellent domain with our shower um, product types. And then we can always expand to the other dozens of product types inside the bathroom let's do one more niche one time all right the one, time. one more just on, on the random name generator scrap no no I no no rocket rocket rocket, rocket. I, I bet rocket these are always easy. so fun to do <laughs> so we have um so this is like coffee. Let's see what what else. Um, let's, let's filter see by thousand dollars. Oh, bounce houses. This is just espresso machines. We've seen yeah. that before. Seen those before. Go down. Go down. Let me look at the <laughs> SEO parts. Oh shoot! It's a forty-eight thousand. Tata home. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! First dibs. Doc. Which one? Rocket sculpture. Sculpture. Oh, yeah. no Seventeen thousand. No way. No way. You always have to think like if things are manufactured slash produced. There's there's someone in the world that wants it. <laughs> they wouldn't just make something. Manufacturers wouldn't just make something out of thin air because um, they, they felt like it. They're just wasting time, material, and money. So, wow. Cool. <laughs> Sculpture before. Some rich people would buy this. Let's, let's be more practical. Let's go back to practical. Let's go, uh, do the moon rocket. Oh, pro sports equipment. This is professional sports equipment. I've seen this website before already, though. Okay, this is like a football tackle dummy. I want to see this. What is oh. that? Oh, kitty ride. It's like a simulator. Bro, that's so cool. They got a vi video. <laughs> Yo. interesting for 50k let's go this would this video basically demonstrates like where like the customer avatar this is like a business right <laughs> Super like an antique type business <laughs> antique stores yeah how could we turn this into a niche Rocket. How do we kitty. turn this into a niche? Well, if you oh, combine like, this with the sculpture, bro, like antique sculpture store, or you go into the kitty ride store, which is the next one you're about to click, the inflatable bounce house. Mm -hmm. But we've seen these, so it's not like yeah. you, you certainly those those work. But yeah, yeah, kitty ride. Um. Space shuttle. This is the last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna finish it because I think you guys understand. Like this really gets rabbit hole. It gets fun too. Sometimes it's like it's so interesting to see. Yo, what the hell? 
I've been at uh, like a museum, like a space museum, and they had like these, like where you can like go inside one of these and like simulate like you flying a jet or something. Yeah. What about like virtual reality simulators? That's got to be it. A, a oh, my gosh. Game. Dude. What? Why sell <laughs> saunas when he can sell this? <laughs> no, that's facts. So interesting. Jesus Christ. Oh my. Basketball machines? Yeah. I've like, seen those in, like, arcades, too. Yeah, like, each one of these, just think about it. Arcade machines, there's... a gazillion games so like each one could be a different game like sea fishing this is like a shooting game it's like a i don't know some sort of shooting game as well racing game so interesting <laughs> anyways yo, yo trevor let's not get too bad child. we're getting too <laughs> into this ourselves you know anyways um if you guys find value in today's video make sure you like comment subscribe ask any questions inside our facebook private group because that's where we see a lot of the questions and that's where we're going to help answer them on these lives and trevor any final words that's it that's it peak flow we're out peace peace